What's up, everybody? Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm Biscuit Dog, and we're back in Farmer's Dynasty. It's a beautiful morning on the farm, you guys, and we're getting ready to figure out how to harvest stuff. <laughs> I've done a little reading, and I think I know how to do it. But first, let's go check out the greenhouse, see how far we are with the growing our vegetables. Then it's off to go and collect the eggs for the morning. Then we can, uh, then we can start adventuring, you guys. <laughs> I have it on good authority. Is this stuff? This stuff doesn't look like it's growing at all. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't give me the option to pull it out anymore, so that's something, I suppose. Oh, there we go, remove seedlings. That's not great. Okay, this stuff's gonna take a while to grow, it looks like. Man, I thought we'd have loads of food by now. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to be more patient than that. I suppose it does take longer than two days to grow some pumpkins. <laughs> Maybe I was a little over-eager. So, you guys, harvesting. I have it on good authority that the neighbor we haven't yet visited that this guy right here is the guy with the harvester. It doesn't show us any kind of mission objective or anything, but people online said it'll only show the objective when you get right there. So we're going to drive over there and see if this guy's got grandpa's harvester. I'm so sick and tired of the neighbors, man. They've just stolen all our grandfather's stuff, and now they're making us do stuff for them for free so that we can get it back. It's just really, really uncool. We should have a decent amount of eggs today because we did double the amount of chickens we had in the last episode. Okay. Ah, here's some. Good. There were never eggs here before. All right, eggs. Here we go. Okay, uh, when we started this egg collection, I had one egg left. I mean, we've got a few in the basement, but I had, uh, I had my eating eggs on me, and I ate them all except for one. So... We're getting 26 eggs a day. That's really pretty good, you guys. That's enough to keep us alive, at least. And uh, the excess we can sell to the creeper next door. John. He's down there somewhere. He's probably just milling around outside his shop. Do, 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 do. All right, I think that's the place. Wow. Is that a greenhouse up there? That's a massive greenhouse. Let's go take a look. New quest, talk to Janet. You notice an old harvester by the farm up the hill. Talk to the owner and ask if you can get it somehow. <laughs> We are a very strange individual. Hey, I see you have a I see you have a harvester. Can I have it? <laughs> All right, Janet. What do I have to do? Wow, this place is a dump. Ah, oh, sweeping again. Hello, Mister. I'm Janet. Have we met? No. I'm your neighbor. I live just across that lake. Moved in not long ago. Hey, we just moved in too. Bought this farm and greenhouses to start a tomato business. But it's such a mess. I feel cheated. The greenhouses are a ruin. Didn't you look at it before you bought it? I guess I can help you restore these. What? Candy now? That would be so great. But I don't have much money to pay you. What about that harvester over there? <laughs> I think it's worth the effort. I can take it for an exchange. This sounds great. We have no use for it anyway. We wish to plant tomatoes. Don't own any fields. In this case, I'm on it. I will fix your greenhouses in exchange for that harvester. What about that barn over there? Can you fix it too? I'll add the header to sweeten the deal. Oh, that is a lot of work, but it's worth it. A lot of work, but it's worth it. Oh my god, we're gonna be here for some time. I mean, oh, what a lot of work for the harvester. Are you sure you just moved in? I mean, don't you, don't you look at the place before you buy it? It's not exactly a pack of biscuits now, is it? I mean, it's a huge investment. You're not very good with money, are you? I suppose, I suppose neither am I, so I shouldn't be complaining at you. What's wrong with your husband? I see him over here. You guys cult members yet? 
Lady, this looks like a field to me. What are you growing here? It's a field of weeds. <laughs> you, why are you so lazy? Let me see your eyes. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. We can't trust these people, you guys. They didn't just move in here. If they did, they did it to be closer to the family, if you guys know what I mean. These guys have got a pretty good view of my farm, too. Hello. Well, hello there. <laughs> An immigrant, I see. Them politicians, what are they thinking? Them politicians, what are they thinking? They only care for themselves. That's what they all do. All right, then. Um, nice weather. Nice weather, ain't it? It sure is. All right, Matthew and I aren't really that good at small talk. Let's get out of here. Man, we've got to fix both of these greenhouses in the barn. I think I'm going to spend the rest of this episode complaining about the amount of work I have to do. <laughs> this is a lot of work, you guys. Let's take a look at this rusted pile of junk. I mean, I suppose it's worth it. Jeez, there's not even a cab. We're just going to be out there eating bugs and husks. <laughs> Face first into the field. I like it. This is a this is a man's harvester, you guys. <laughs> Obviously, this is the header. So we've got two different headers. This one looks like it's for corn or something like that. And this one looks like it's for uh, your normal run-of-the-mill wheat and things. So this is quite a lot of equipment, but it's an awful lot of work, you guys. We should we should probably get busy. Wow. They built their house on Stonehenge. Let's just go check this feature out. It, it may well be significant in terms of uh, the, the broader plot line of this game. Ooh, look what I've found here. Another chest of non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> Lucky me. Yep, probably non-alcoholic. What is probably non-alcoholic beer? Oh, I don't know. It's good enough for me. We'll take it. We'll take it all. They'll never know. So we're getting a harvester and all their secret supplies. Looks like each farm probably has one of these somewhere. And uh, I suppose that's pretty useful if you're starving. It's pretty useful anyway. I'm not going to lie. We'll take it. Wow, that equipment shop really does look modern compared to everything else. And there it looms, you guys. The church of F7. There's another strange person just running around down there. Did you guys see it? He's there. I wish I could point. <laughs> There's no cursor in this game. He's down there in the yard. Doing something. Bending over, it looks like. Just above just above the, the vehicle store. Behind that fence. Very, very strange. There's a lot of people just kind of wandering around in the bushes out here. Anyway, we should probably get started on work. This is going to be a huge job, you guys. Oh my word. Well, nobody said it was going to be easy getting the harvester back. I wonder, I wonder, is, th is that going to be good enough? I suppose we should try. Yep, this is going to be a huge amount of work, you guys. I'm going to have to do this in between episodes. This is ridiculous. <laughs> We're going to be here forever. Maybe we can steal some of their seeds. Let's go inside there and uh, take a closer look. Doesn't look like it. Damn it. Looks like they used the same greenhouse salesman I did. This one's identical to ours. I don't think we have a, a back door, do we? That's pretty cool. They must have paid extra. What is that? This isn't going to take that long, but it's going to take too long for the episode. So I've got to do two of these, and I've got to repair the barn. That's an awful lot of work. Oh no. 
Looks like we're gonna need cinder blocks for the barn. So not exactly sure how we're gonna how we're gonna get ourselves some cinder blocks. This uh, this could get complicated. Do they have supplies around here? We don't have space for cinder blocks. This is the whole problem. The 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 breeze blocks are still in the hardware store because we took up all the space with roofing options, <laughs> like an idiot. So uh, I don't know how we're gonna get access to the blocks we need to actually fix this barn. This. This could be a terrible problem. Repair old bricks. Oh, that was easy enough. Man, why doesn't it do this at my farm? At least all the wood's done in here. Ugh, the roof's not looking that good, though. This shouldn't take too long. All right, you guys. I got plenty of work to do in between episodes so we can get a hold of this harvester. It's ridiculous. And <laughs> she really juiced us. Two greenhouses and a barn. That's a lot of work. Like I said, though, I suppose a harvester is a, is a pretty big piece of equipment, and it's probably pretty expensive. It's probably a pretty good deal, if indeed it isn't just our grandfather's harvester. So <laughs> I'm going to do this in between episodes because there's a load of work to be done here. I mean, this is going to take me an hour at least. Look at your chicken coop. Look at the state of this place. I can't believe you guys bought this place without coming to look at it. That's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I know your cult members. I saw Matthew's face. <laughs> I wonder if we can get into their house. Oh, that's a pity. What's going on in here? It seems like it's definitely modeled. Doesn't look like there's much going on in there, though. Damn blinds. I can see nothing. It looks super empty. This is all very suspicious. I don't know what this guy's problem is. Why don't you repair it instead of tending to the weed patch? This is too weird. They're definitely growing something here. What do you guys think this is? Maybe it's the maybe it's the ingredient to the psychoactive tea that makes them all crazy. Maybe it's what makes his eyes like this. Look at that. This is horrible. I think they're in a trance when their eyes are like that. I'm not I'm not sticking around. These people really freak me out. Okay, we're gonna do that in between episodes because I don't want to bore you guys to death with my riveting and so on. I'd really like to find a fishing pole as well. Maybe John's got one. Let's go sell him some eggs and see what he's got for sale. All right, John. Oh, wow. <laughs> Looks like he's making a concerted effort to keep his eyes normal. Good to see you. Can I help you? He's not even opening his mouth anymore. Neither are we. Has that been going on the whole time? <laughs> Care to trade? Care to trade? Sure. What do you need? What do you got? Fishing pole. How much is this? 312 euro. That seems like... That seems like an attainable goal. How much can we sell these eggs for? 0.40 euro. That's gonna take forever. <laughs> We're gonna make like 10 euro out of this. What? Damn it, we just sold the string trimmer. Give me that back. Oh my god. We sold the string trimmer by mistake, and now we, we don't have enough money to buy it back. Damn this game. Okay, I suppose that's not the end of the world since we've used it already, and we need a fishing rod now. So that's only 312 euro. Let's buy it. Cool. Are we done here? Yes, we have a fishing rod. Okay, hopefully we don't need any, uh, hopefully we don't need any worms or anything, because I don't know, I don't know where to find worms, but maybe we can go fishing here. All right, you guys, let's try this out. This seems like a good spot to do it. Sorry, John, I'm just gonna leave my car there while I go fishing. You don't mind. I'm your only customer anyway. Use fishing rod. Yeah! Huh. Like a glove. What are we doing? We just waiting? Are we waiting for the float to go down? Did we catch something? Alright, that didn't work. 
How far out can we cast? 35? Ugh! Well, this is nice. Nice and relaxing. We look around while we fish. Yeah, lovely. Lovely stuff. This is way better than repairing greenhouses. Come on, fishing rod. There we go. Here we go. Catch the fish! Did we get him? Yes! Fish times one. Okay, that's great. I just saw something splash over there. Let's try that. Oh, I can actually see them under the water. Do you guys see that? That's really cool. That's really, really cool. I didn't notice that before. Come on, fishes. Come on. Gotcha! Sweet! Okay, so... Stuff you have to buy in this game is really, really expensive, but it doesn't really matter. If all you want to do is survive, there's loads of ways to survive. We could have a... We could have a scrumptious meal of fish and mushrooms for no money at all. If you look around, like in the last episode, we found a bunch of mushrooms, but uh, I don't see any now. They are around though, you guys. So you could have fish and mushrooms for free every night. And uh, for a little extra, you could have some eggs as well. So <laughs> survival's not really a problem, but living life large is kind of a problem. Well, all right, you guys, we lost a string trimmer, but we did gain a fishing rod and frankly, I feel like a fishing rod is way more useful than the string trimmer. We've used the string trimmer now, so hopefully the stuff doesn't grow back. If it does, we're gonna have to buy another one, damn it. But it doesn't look like it's growing back, at least not yet. Well, that was fun. Fishing's kind of a nice activity. Another thing to do when you're, you're tired of farming. Just go down to the river here and catch some fish. I really like the fact that you could see the fish under the water. That was really, really cool. Don't know that I've ever fished in a game where I could actually spot the fish under the water. A nice touch, I think. I think... Uh, that the two people on the farm with the harvester are definitely new recruits. I mean, they're farms overlooking the church of F7, you guys, so... <laughs> they're in a prime position, and Matthew had weird eyes, and they're cultivating something behind the greenhouses, God knows what, but I'm, I'm sure it's not legal, you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fix that barn in those greenhouses if I can in between episodes. I think I'm gonna leave it there for today, you guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!